Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okie dokie. So, <laughs> this is a follow up video to the uh, last video on the pellet hopper vibrator. It's, uh, it's about 3.15 in the afternoon. I threw some ribs on around noon. I fixed the bugs that I had found in the, um, in the previous test and everything seems to be running okay. Uh, right now I have the, uh, instead of running the auger continuous like I was doing with the um, brisket, uh, I am running the, the pellet hopper vibrator with the uh, auger. And so when it when auger turns on, the pellet hopper vibrator turns on. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is energy efficient or not. Probably not. Because starting a motor usually draws quite a bit of uh, energy. It is uh, a unique thing. Because one of the things I like about it is, you know, like if you're dropping temp or something like that or just barely using any pellets, it doesn't have to run a lot. And if it's using a lot of pellets, then it runs continue it a lot runs a lot right anytime the auger is running the pellet hopper vibrator is running another thing it does too is is it seems like it's been working pretty good uh, I've been kind of letting the pellets drain down and that hole seems a lot better than it did last time let me back up a little bit so you can see the whole hopper and uh, yeah, it's getting kind of low. I'll keep an eye on it, but I wanted to get down towards the bottom again and see how it's doing. Uh, you know, when it starts getting lower uh, towards the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I can show you on the on the web app how how it's set. But right now, I just like I said, have it running with the auger. So we'll just keep an eye on it and and see if it works a little better. Uh, like I said, continuous works. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. Uh, I did not adjust uh, the pellet hopper vibrator aggressiveness. I left it the way it was during the, uh, the brisket cook. Uh, it's in the same location as where I moved it. It's kind of, it's kind of, kind of high up on. Well, it's kind of. I don't want to say high up on the bin, but anyway, it's. It's, it's towards the top of the bin. You can hear it, but it's nice and quiet as you can tell. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention too is that I like about this is, is other than continuous, the, uh, having the, the pellet hopper vibrator run when the auger runs, to me, helps uh, fill in any gaps that might be in the auger. You get a, a positive, a, you know, auger full of pellets every time it drops instead of holes here and there. Anyway, I'll uh, check in with you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half or so. <laughs> and yeah, that uh, run with auger seems to be working pretty good. It's getting towards the end of the uh, the cook for these ribs, so I think I'm just gonna let it run until it runs out of pellets. It should, I have a flame out detection enabled, so it should uh, start beeping and making noise when it runs out of pellets. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how far this thing will actually go down. All right, I'll be back in a bit. All right, well, I came out here to check on it and. <laughs> I think I caught it right before it was getting ready to flame out. It's still 219, so um, I guess it's emptying the auger too, but yeah, that uh that drained it down almost down to the bottom. Yeah. So uh yeah. That's uh that's pretty good. And that's with the, the minimum aggressiveness on that, on the pellet hopper, on the vibrator. So, uh, yeah. Not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because <laughs> I know there's going to be a big air gap there. But, yeah, that used, I would call that almost a whole 
been and I didn't touch it once so yeah pretty good huh anyway uh, I think that's about it that uh, run with auger is pretty good it, uh, it works just as good as a continuous so yeah see it's <laughs> I think it hit the gap anyway all right well that's about it I uh, hope you like this video if you like it give it a big thumbs up that always helps and I will uh, I will see you next oh if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comments under the video and I'll see you guys later don't forget you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.